gentlemen, my name is Sir Dorn Becker, and we have a newcomer in our midst. We've been waiting for him for a while. Sir White Cement and Sir Cav Four have already come their spots. Sir Tour S Yellow, Sir Military Blue, and Sir Fire Red have already joined our midst. So now we welcome this newcomer. As your king, I'd like to welcome Sir. Black Red Cement. Do not call him Bread. He will get pissed. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another video. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. These are two Bread Fours. Now, this right here is an early release one, and this right here is one I bought in the store. And I'm going to do a comparison on them. Now, off the bat, I will say, it was a lot more of these than I thought there would be. Now, I'm not going to say if you didn't get any, you didn't do your homework, but, you know, if you didn't try, basically you didn't get them. But it was a lot more than people thought there would be. Even, you know, they had those raffles and whatnot. It was still something to go around. Uh, I called around everywhere when I was in Chicago. And, you know, being that's a big city... And a pretty, I would say it's a pretty big shoe city. You would think this shoe would sell out fast, but they had plenty of pairs to go around. And I went into the hood, a hood DTR. Um, I say, I want to say, was it South, what, South Chicago? Maybe, I don't know. But I went to a DTR on Madison. They had a lot of shoe stores, a lot of mom and pop stores. And I was able to get me a pair. And they had plenty left over. So, don't. Go to eBay just yet. Try your best to look for them. I'm pretty sure some stores that still have some pairs there, even to this day. Anyway, so. There is the early release one I got from Soul Society. And this is one I bought in the store from DTLR. Now, this one has been worn a couple of, a couple of times. So, of course, the uh, new buck on here is not going to be as goodly as this one. So, ignore this little area right here. Let's get to the more important part. Uh, off the bat, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the air on your general release one is thicker than the early release one. Like, uh, let me do a comparison. This one is thinner. And then the box is kind of, you know, it's bent. Because uh, with early release shoes, the boxes are not always accurate. I mean, don't get me wrong. Just because it's an early release shoe don't mean it's fake. It just would mean it was poorly made. On the early release shoe I got, I don't know if you can notice, but there's a lot, you know, these glue stains. Not this right here. This just this little part is glare from the light above, but like right here, you know, bad glue stain. All right, like right in this area, uh, like a bad glue stain. Let me see. Can I focus in? Yeah, see? Bad clue stain. And then, like, a uh, little s speckles. I don't know. I guess what's the paint off, off the new book or whatever. Well, yeah, they don't make sense. You can't paint new up. But I guess the, whatever they use to make the shoe, a uh, little black speckle right there. Uh, 
Yeah, it said glue stain right there. This one, this one's pretty bad. No. And on the general release, you can see hardly no glue stains whatsoever. I mean, you know, with Jordan, the shoe quality is not going to be good anyway. I'm pretty sure there might be some general release forwards out there that still have glue stains on them. But, like I said, it's just a comparison. And um, another thing, um, on the wing right here, I don't know if there's a, you can see it, but... Let me get in closer. Focus in. This spacing right here. And the space in the wings. And then there's this one. There's hardly any spacing. Like, let me let me see can I put them together? You can see the difference maybe. It's not good. Let me see. See how there's hardly any gap right there whatsoever. Then right here you have like a bigger gap. And also in the wing itself, the wing gaps are bigger than these. Like on this side it's fine. But on this side, you know, you can see the gap. Stars on the on the um, general release one is more defined. Now on the early release, you know they're not as defined. They're there, but they're not as defined. And let me get them side by side so you can see. camera and get the lighting. There we go. There we go. There we go. As you can see, like I said, it's more defined on the general release and not defined that much on the early release. Now, does that mean this is a fake shoe? No, it does not mean it's a fake shoe. It just means that this shoe, the early release one, was just poorly made. And people always want to talk about production dates and all that shit. Really, production dates really don't matter. And then people want to talk about the old the secret message, the 2012 cement. I mean, not 2012 cement, but on all the fours that came out this year. Well, not these two, but these two and these two. There's a message on the inside that says 2012. And, of course, it's on this one and on this one. Now, even some fates on this one and, you know... It's whatever. But here's my thing on early release shoes and general release shoes. 
they don't make early release shoes fake. I mean, let's put it like this. If you worked, let's say you worked at a KFC and KFC closed, you get chicken, you get the chicken, you get the batter, and you get the boxes. You take it home, you fry it up yourself, and you put it in your own box, and you sell the KFC chicken out your house. That's kind of what an early release shoe is. I mean, they're not legally through Nike, but they are used Nike materials. And um, just be buyer beware. When I first got it, I was disappointed, you know, from the glue stains and whatnot. I could tell it wasn't done pretty good. So I, I said to myself, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a detailed review on this shoe till I get uh, the shoe when it actually came out, so I can compare them. And that's exactly what I did. And now you can see for yourself. Um, I will still be careful because not all early release shoes are real. Um, there are still people that will try to sell an early release shoe and it's just fake as bitches with makeup and, and booty pads and shit. But, like I said, just buy at your own risk. Try to see, can you at least try to get it? in the store first. If not, then I know some people don't like resellers, but once you think about it, you're paying resale prices when you buy the shit early anyway, so why not pay the fucking reseller and get the real shoe as opposed to buying an early release that you don't know it's going to be real or not. But that's it, and I have another pair right here as well, so, yeah. All right, that's my video for now. Uh, uh, last but not least is the Thunder Fours, which will come out next month. So far on my wish list for next month is just the Thunder Four. Um, my cousin, he wants the Bread Elevens. Like I told you, I'm not really an Eleven fan. The only one I want is the Space Jams, and those uh the ones that are coming out next year, the lower levels, those look pretty good. Basically, I don't know, if you haven't seen it, it's basically it is the same thing as the breads that's coming out next December, but it's just a low version. But oh yeah, and those phone posits, some still phone posits. Like I said, when I went to Chicago and got the one phone posit, it made me a fan. So I'm gonna see can I get those. I never actually attempted to buy a phone posit before. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I do want to say, t tell a funny story though. Um, and you know, I also know that whole weekend, the Thanksgiving weekend was a busy shoe weekend because you had these that came out, you had the Slim Jenkins, and you had the pink phone posits, and then you had the Raptor 7. Oh, my bad. Charcoal. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I like, I use the word Raptor. Who the fuck? What you gonna do? You ain't gonna whoop my ass. Anyway. Um, so, all those shoes came out. And, I, oh, yeah, you had the uh, restock of the Concords on finish line. I, and I, I find this funny. I attempted to get the Raptor 7s, but... Uh, they were sold out. I couldn't get them online. I called Nike Town Chicago, which, you know, they, they, ah, oh, fuck Nike Town Chicago. Because they told me the same thing. Every time I call, they ask about a fucking shoe. Why don't you follow our Twitter and give you updates? Well, I am following you on Twitter, motherfuckers, and you didn't say nothing about the shoe. I called the next day, and they had the shoe in my size. But I couldn't uh, go get it because uh, I was watching the kids and my nephew. And I wasn't about to ruin my family fun time for the fuck for a fucking shoe, but it's funny because um, the Bread Four, one of the hottest releases of 2012, one of the most anticipated shoes of this year. I was easy to get, but I couldn't get a fucking restock on the fucking Raptor Seven. How can I get a shoe that just released now so easily, but I couldn't get a fucking restock so easily? I couldn't get it online. I couldn't get it in the store. But, like I said, Chicago is a pretty big 
Shoe City, so hey, it's whatever. And you know what's funny? These dumbasses that did buy the sh- the fucking Raptor Seven to try to resell it on eBay or whatever, you know, the shoe is not going over two hundred at all on eBay right now. So I don't know why they bought it. Cause I saw a dude on Instagram, he had like six pairs, and you know, everybody's talking shit about like, yeah, you dumbass, you ain't gonna make no money off of it. <laughs> You know, he is a dumbass. But that is it. Um, oh yeah, and the cool gray nines are coming out. I'm not a big fan of gray, like an all gray shoe. So good luck to anybody that's getting it. That's one shoe I don't really care about. You can tell I don't care about because I haven't mentioned that motherfucker at all. But good luck to those that are trying to get it. If I was you, night before I would call around. And see what stores would have them. Um, like with the olives, the olives were pretty easy to cop. Not so for many other people. But what I would do, I would call a couple of stores, ask what time they open, ask um, ask how many pairs they get. Some places will tell you, some won't. They'll get it. Oh, that's top secret information, motherfucker. This is shoes, not the government. You can tell me. Anyway. But yeah, do your research. Um, call around, see. What's time they open, and if they're doing any kind of raffle or whatnot, try to see can you get it online. What I like to do is want two things at the same time. I like to stand in line for the shoe and also try to get that bitch online through my phone. If I get it online through my phone, they don't grave it. I can take my ass home and go back to sleep. That's how I was able to cop uh, what shoe that was. Um, the Obsidian 12 and... The photo blues, but then, like I said, finish line fucked me over and sent me two and charged me for two. But that's it. Um, see you guys later. Buy what you like, don't buy because of hype. Peace.